welcome. Wasi 2023 Federal Mathematics Section B, Question 11 B on indices. So given that 5 exponent x times 5 exponent x plus 1 is equal to 5 exponent 3 minus x divided by into bracket 125 exponent minus 1 times 5 exponent negative x minus 1. So this is a simple linear uh, indices equation. So we have to rewrite the question and perform the, the loss of addition and that of all subtraction, which is multiplication and division. So let's put that into practice. So we have 5 exponent x, 5x plus 1, 5 exponent 3 minus x divided by 125 exponent negative 1, 5x. This. So here I am going to apply the law of multiplication. You add the exponent since the base are the same. Here also is multiplying. I will perform the same law of multiplication, adding the powers. But 125 is not the same as 5, meaning we need to break 125 into the base of 4, 5. So right away, this becomes 5 exponent of x here. Then this also becomes plus x plus 1. Don't forget the first exponent plus the second exponent. And I have the two of the x, so it will be featured here. Then equals to 5 exponent 3 minus x divided by, in this bracket, this become 5 exponent 3. And it already have a negative 1. So the exponent 3 will multiply the negative 1 to give you negative 3 times 5 exponent negative x minus 1. So whatever we have done here, we do the same here by adding the power since we have the same base. So here is 2 plus x plus x. That will give us 2x. So 5 exponent 2x plus 1 should be equal to 5 exponent 3 minus x should be divided by 5 exponent minus 3, in this case, plus negative x minus 1. We are adding the powers. So negative 3 plus negative x minus 1. All of this is the power from the second base. So you put them in the brackets. So now we can compute that side. So we have 5 exponent 2x plus 1 equals to 5 exponent 3 minus x divided by 5 exponent. Don't forget this is negative 3 minus 1. That will give us a negative 4. So negative 4, this is just having the same negative x. So the laws of multiplications has been dealt with. Now we are seeing division. Division of the same base, we subtract the powers. So this becomes 5, the exponent of 2x plus 1 should be equal to this become 5 exponent, the first power, 3 minus x minus the second power, minus 4 minus x. We put them in a the bracket because they are all one power coming from the second base. So we put them in a the bracket. So now let's expand further. 5 exponent of 2x plus 1. 5 exponent of. Don't forget, if you open this bracket, the negative has effect in every number. So negative 1 times uh, negative 4 becomes a positive 4. So 3 plus the 4 give us 7. Then we are also going to have the negative have effect on the x. So negative 1 times negative x, a positive x. Positive x plus negative x give us 0. Meaning this becomes the simplified version of what we can get here. Alright. Now, we are now having a singular base on the left, a singular base on the right. Which are of the same kind. So we say that since 5 is a base here, it's equal to the 5 as the base there. Therefore, the exponent here 
should be the same as what? The 7. So now let's see. So since we have the same base, we equate the powers. Or simply put, we equate the exponent. So this become 2x plus 1 should be equal to 7. Linear equation. Let's transpose this one. So 2x equals to 7. This is going to be minus 1 here, minus 1 there. 1 minus 1 will give you 0. So we have that. 2x will be equal to 6. Now we can divide through by the coefficient. So 2x over 2, 6 over 2. Meaning x will be equal to 3. Meaning the value of x that will satisfy this expression should be 3. Meaning if you put 3 here, this will be 0, right? So it means this is going to be 1. So if you substitute this 3 here, that becomes 125 times, we put the 3 here, become 4. So this will become 6 to 5. So when you multiply 6 to 5 by 125, we are having 7, 8, 1, 2, 5. That is for the left. Already we know this is going to be 1. So 1 divided by, then this will also be 1 divided by 125 times. When we put our 3 here, it becomes negative 3 minus this negative 4, right? So that will also be 1 out of 160, no, 6 to 5, right? Already don't forget. This is going to be on top as 1 divided by all of these. And they are also fractions, meaning their denominator will go up to multiply as 125 times 625, which will still give us what? The 78,125. So the value of x that will satisfy this expression is just 3. I believe the concept is clear. Thanks for watching. Like, follow, share, and comment. Bye-bye.